Alright, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Canva's new PDF editor. The first thing I want to show you guys is how to actually get to the PDF editor page. You go up here to Design Spotlight and then down to PDF Editor. This page actually has a really cool video that will give you a lot of useful information about the editor itself. In order to get your PDFs within Canva, you click on Upload Your PDF. And it will bring you to this opening in Canva page. I believe during this process, it's trying to determine what each element is so that you'll be able to edit it within Canva itself. Let's take a look at the PDF before I brought it into Canva. It's right here. This PDF was made by combining three different templates together just so I had a multiple page PDF. So here's the first page. We're just trying to see how the elements are lined out and such. Second page and then the third page. Now let's go look at what Canva did here. So the first page looks pretty good. Second page looks like there was some issue with the text but we can fix that ourselves within the editor. And then third page looks pretty good. So let's think about what we can change on this first page here. Now we can change the images. So let's do that first. So you can just click and drag the images into the file itself. There's a little bit of a problem with this specific design though. I'll show you what it is here. So I'm dragging this photo into the phone frame or that's what I'm trying to do but it isn't working and I'm going to show you why that is. So when Canva was determining the, the graphics here, apparently they broke the phone into multiple pieces. So this is like the outer edge where the buttons and such are. If you have issues placing photos, just see if there's an element like blocking it because that seems to be what was happening. You can always just move the element back into place. I think the same thing happened with this image back here. We're going to go ahead and try it though. Yeah. So let's see what's blocking this one. So it was the iPad and the photo frame. Now let's try. And then you can just, again, put the frame pieces back into place. It shouldn't be that hard because it seems to snap because there's a lot of guides in Canva. So we're going to go zoom out. We can also edit the text. So let's say I didn't want this to say branding and I wanted it to say design instead. Maybe capitalize this letter. There we go. I think that had to do with the text box itself. All right. You can also change the color of the background to let's go blue. You can add elements to the page as well. So if I wanted to have a graphic on here, I can do that. We need to figure out what happened here. My best guess is the frame might be too narrow. There we go. Other than changing the text, changing the photo, changing the color, adding the graphics. You can also change the page order just by clicking and dragging a page to a different spot. You can add new pages in. And what I really like about this is I can go up here to design and I can hit style and I can just pick a style that I want to use. In this case, all the pages weren't from the same design to start with. Uh, let's try this. Ooh, that, that looks pretty good. So if you want to use a style on here, you can just click it. And if you want to use a, like the same colors and such, but a different like layout of the colors, you can just keep clicking until you're happy with what it does. I like that. And if you wanted it to be applied to all pages, obviously you just click apply to all pages. This got messed up. The one problem I have with using the styles panel is it changes the fonts which I wanted it to do, but when you do that, you need to make sure that it doesn't break your layout for your text. What happened here? Did it just go to another line? Oh, the text box is too small. That looks pretty good. Did anything else break? Okay, this broke. But as you can see, you can go in here and you can fine tune your PDF to meet your current needs or if you have a client who wants you to change something on the PDF, you can easily bring it into Canva and use their new PDF editor. I hope this helps you guys and as always, if you made this far, thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!